Hello my friends. Uh, several of you have asked about sourdough starter. So what I did was I dehydrated, dehydrated it and I put it in this little baggie. So to start out, you're gonna get a nicer bag than this. But to start out, you're gonna do one tablespoon of this here sourdough starter. This is a half a tablespoon. I couldn't find my other one. Anyway, I went ahead and did that and I put it in my mason jar. So there's that. What you're gonna do, after you put your sourdough starter in your mason jar, is I'm gonna measure out a cup, or, or excuse me, a tablespoon of filtered warm water. I like that. And then I'm just gonna give it a good mix. And I like these smaller spatulas for this. And you don't need a huge jar to start this out. But you, what you want to do is you want to let this rest in here after you give it a good mix for about 10 minutes. And then we will come back and I will show you what to do next. I'm back. Well, you have let this set for 10 minutes. So I'm going to kind of stir it around a little bit. And this is kind of what it looks like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a tablespoon of unbleached flour. That is very important. Don't get regular bleached, unbleached. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do two scoops of this. You can't really get it too much, so don't, you know, don't make it perfect. I'm gonna mix this in. And uh, I'll show you in just a second kind of what it's gonna look like. tablespoon of water to this again. Okay, once you have this mixed, you know, where it's not too chunky and looks all the way incorporated, you're just going to take your lid, you're just going to put it back on, and you're going to leave this set on your counter for 24 hours. So this is day one of feeding your sourdough starter. Hello, hello. It is day two of feeding your starter. I did forget to tell you yesterday. Uh, this rubber band I can't put it clear down here because it falls off the jar but when you want to mark where your starter is that will show you how much it rises so I do do that it just I couldn't do it yesterday because it's too far however today we're gonna do two tablespoons so we're gonna double what we did yesterday this is kind of what it looks like it's a little chunky in there but it's pretty thick and that's, I mean, you don't want it super thin or anything like that. So if it's, if yours is thick like that, you're good to go. All right, so tablespoons, okay. You want un, unbleached flour. Here's one tablespoon. And two. And don't forget on your water, you want filtered water. And I just leave mine room temp or a little bit warm is fine. So you're gonna do two tablespoons of water. And stir. You, want, you just make sure that it's very well incorporated. in really really good sorry my hair's kind of a mess I was just out doing chores so it is cold cold here it's like 6 and negative 12 with the wind chill it's freezing okay 
you see it in there? Is that what it looks like? You do want it on the thicker side. You don't want it runny, but this is day two. So my little rubber band here, I'm just gonna put it about there. Now tomorrow when we do it, we should start seeing some activity. Yeah, see it's trying to fall down on me again. So I'm just gonna have to kinda, yeah. That's what I was having trouble with yesterday. Anyway, that is day two, set aside for 24 hours. Good morning. Hello. Hey, um, we are on day three of how to rehydrate our sourdough starter. So, what I'm going to do is I've got my sourdough starter. It looks like this this morning. It's kind of it's a little bit more liquidy than I would like. So, we're going to fix that. Um, also, I have a scale because you're going to need this. Um, and then you're gonna need a bigger jar to put this in because we're gonna add quite a bit more today than what we have in the past two days. So I put this on my scale and you want it in grams and I zeroed it out. So here we go, 25 grams of starter. Let's see if I can move this a little bit. In this here jar. So I'm gonna just mix this for a second. And I've got my scale, so 25 grams. Here we go. Okay. And then we're gonna do 50 grams of water to 50 grams of flour. Now, I am going to do a little bit less because like I said, it's just a little bit liquidy for me and I do like my sourdough starter to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to start out with the flour, and then I'm going to show you what the consistency that you want. Okay, so 50 grams. I'm going to get a little bit bigger of a cup here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off my scale, and I'm going to zero my scale out. There we go. And remember, your flour has to be unbleached. takes just a second to kind of get it to <laughs> exactly 50 here. There we go. So it looks like it's probably like a half a cup. That's what it looks like. And actually that's what I use whenever I'm actually rehydrating my sourdough starter. So you're gonna add, so 50 grams or a half a cup of unbleached flour. And then again, I'm going to go a little bit less on my water, but this needs to be filtered. Room temp is the best. So instead of doing a half of a cup, I'm going to go just a little bit under it. And then I'm going to start stirring mine in um, and just kind of see what the consistency looks like. And I can add a little bit more if I need it, if I need to. Okay, so the consistency that I've got is more like a muffin mix or um, a waffle mix. This is what it kind of looks like. See how thick it is? That's what I want. So don't do quite the half a cup of water. Do a little bit under and kind of just, it's really like an eyeball game more than anything. Um, and then you're gonna put something on the top. Um, I just use recycled jars for a lot of my stuff. Um, but this is 12 hours. We're not going to go 24 on this. So on day three, you need to do it at 12 hours. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna put something over it and then about, let's see here, another 12 hours. So just before you go to bed, like maybe seven at night, I would do it again um, in the same day. And don't discard, you do not have to discard anything out of this yet. We're gonna learn about that in a little bit. Um, but just go ahead, cover it, and then seven o'clock-ish, we're gonna do this again. Also, when you are done feeding this, do not forget to add your rubber band. I like using the thicker ones. I don't know why I have a, such a thin one out today. Um, but this is just gonna tell us how much it's growing because once it starts to grow, that's when we're able to actually use this. So, there we go. Okay, can you see it? Also, anything that you have left, um, left over that you did not pour in your jar, go ahead and put a lid on this and put this in the fridge because this is like liquid gold, kind of. So this is the discard, that's what that's called. And you can make pancakes, waffles, granola ball, like there's a whole list of things that you can do with this. And once we start learning about how to discard, you can keep adding your starter into this and just put it in the fridge. Um, and so we're on day four now. And so you should be seeing quite a bit of activity. I'm gonna bring this up here. See the bubbles? That's good. I bet you after this feed, it will start to rise. Mine has not risen any, but if yours has, that's good. Um, we want this to double in size. So I'm just gonna quick stir it. Now, today, we're gonna to talk about discard a little bit. So, I've got a little mason jar here. And what we're going to do is you're going to pour half of this into this jar. It's pretty close, because you still want quite a bit in your jar. And then you're gonna take it, and I just kind of go down the sides of my jar and kind of push it in there and clean up the rim as much as you can. And then we're gonna feed it. <clears throat> so, unbleached flour, half a cup. And then filtered water, half a cup. And then stir. Now, once this starts to rise half of what the jar is, that's when it's ready to bake with. So hopefully today we will see it starting to rise. So what you're going to do today is if it um, doesn't rise half of what it should, you're gonna feed it again tonight and you're then you're gonna discard half of it into this jar so that's what you're gonna do going forward once it starts getting really thick and active on the top like has huge bubbles and it's like stringy um, and it's and it's rose half of the size then you can bake with it but yeah scrape the sides once you get it good and mixed just have this over the top. I've got my little rubber band that I just put in place to see about where it's at and then we leave it. So that concludes day four but like I said you're gonna feed this one more time tonight. It's every 12 hours. I just use it, usually do it before I go to bed and um, hopefully this morning we will start seeing it rise. Good morning. It's early. It's kind of back on my routine but I wanted to show you after day four of feeding the sourdough starter twice. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? See how bubbly it is? And it's actually risen. See how it's getting big? You could feed this one more time 
and then within four hours of it, you can bake with this now. So what you would do is you're gonna go ahead and discard this one more time. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna discard it into your jar, um, half of it, and then you're gonna refeed the half a cup of water, half a cup of your unbleached flour, and then after four hours of that, it is ready to bake. So, there she is, nice and pretty. So I will feed mine again and discard it again, and then um, today I could bake with it. So there is rehydrating your sourdough starter.